さんこんにちはリナです今日は東京にいますここは後ろ築地があります築地にめちゃめちゃ外国人が多いので今からはインタビューをしてみたいと思います行きましょう Nice to meet you. My name is Lena. What's your name? Alessandro. Alessandro. And where are you from? Italy. 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 Is it your first time traveling to Japan? Yes. Yeah? We are in honeymoon. Honeymoon! <laughs> oh, yeah, with yeah. Francesca, my, my wife. <laughs> ah, nice to meet you. Thanks. What have you been doing in Japan? So we do a trip in Japan. We start from Tokyo. Yeah. Then we go to Akone. Hakone, yes. Kyoto. Nice. Hiroshima. Yeah. Wow. And we come back to Tokyo and today we leave. Oh, it's your last day. Last day. Wow. What was your favorite place? Kyoto, Kyoto is yeah. very um, also Hakone. 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 Did you stay in a Japanese yes, ryokan? Yes, uh, in a ryokan with yeah. traditional room. Nice. So with a traditional breakfast uh, uh -huh. and lunch. Uh -huh. Yes. Did you sleep on a tatami. futon, tatami? Yeah. Yes. How was it? Okay? It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it was a little hard. And Francesca has a tatami mm -hmm. in uh, his home. Oh, really? Oh. So you love Japan? Yes. Yeah, okay. What did you do in Kyoto? We go to the bamboo forest. Oh, was it very crowded? Many people? Yes, uh, many yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of historical uh, sanctuary in, uh, yeah, in Kyoto. Temples and shrines. Very different to Tokyo. Yeah, yes. Do you like the Japanese food? Yes, yes. we love it. Some meat, mm -hmm. like Kobe beef. Oh, did you try Kobe beef? Yes, uh, oh. a small part because yeah, it's very, yeah. very expensive. Very expensive, yes. And also sushi f uh, or noodles or... Si, okonomayaki. Ah, yes, those are all very nice. So, why did you decide to come to Japan? Because uh, it was a dream for us to come to Japan. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, honestly, it's not so different. You think? Not yes. so different? Yes. In Italy and in Japan, the approach to, to, the, to the things mm -hmm. are Quite similar. similar. Uh, similar. Yeah, okay. What do you think about Japanese people? So they was a very square, mm -hmm. little square, the Japanese people. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't uh, have a lot of uh, contact with uh, okay, Japanese people. Okay, not that people. much contact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about the fashion? Japanese... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, fashion victims. Fashion victims, <laughs> no? More. Because in Ginza there was uh, many, many... Brands, brands. everything. Yes, okay. I feel like Italy is so famous for great yeah. fashion. Yeah, normal. <laughs> so also, what we what we Piazza. understand, there's there's not a lot of uh, public places to stay in the, in the evening. Yeah, or gardens or parks gardens or, or outside. Park yes. to stay in the evening yes. uh, like this. All they are concentrated in in the in the morning in the. Yes, at night you go to a restaurant or a but bar and they that's close, it. They close uh, early. You also think? for the restaurant, uh, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, then they close. Oh no, there are definitely restaurants that are open until early morning. Huh? But maybe it's hard to find, hard to find as a foreigner yeah. because everything is written in Japanese and it's on the second floor somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, he likes going out drinking at night. So he stays out all night, all night long. <laughs> all night long. <laughs> Last question. Yeah. Um, has your impression of Japan changed your image of Japan before coming and after coming here? A little change was uh, more quiet mm -hmm. or more strange. Okay, the TV, they always show the very strange okay. things maybe. Also, we, we are not fan of manga yes. or... So we do, we don't we don't have any contact with the, this kind of uh, world. We go to Akihabara, but uh, it's like yeah, it's not fun if you don't know anything, yeah. right? Thank you very much for Thank your you. time. That was great. Uh, hi, my name is Lena. Nice hi. to meet you both. Uh, what are your names? Valentin. Valentin. Zaudi. Zaudi. Yes. And where are you two from? Italy, Bulgaria. Italy and Bulgaria. Yes. Okay, is it your first time in Japan? Yes. Yes, first time. For me, the second time. Second time. Yes. Okay, yes. so for the first timer, why did you decide to come here? 
Did they say the truth? Yes, please. <laughs> it's an after the breakup. Uh, yes. Okay. On the yeah. other okay. side of the world. And so you're you know. taking him, so he. Well, the opposite. <laughs> Okay, so you decided after a breakup yes. you need to get away. Exactly. Oh, was it good? A good so refresh? far, yes, <laughs> very good. How long have you already been here? Uh, it's like, the third day. Yeah, the third day. Third day and yes. how long are you going to stay for? Three, Three more. Days, yeah. Are you only going to be in Tokyo? Yes. So what have you been doing in Tokyo so far? Drinking yesterday a lot. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, that's what you should do. Yes. <laughs> you know, the golden guy has this feeling of... Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. yeah did you enjoy that? It was very amazing. Much, yeah. like, How many amazing. bars did you visit? Actually, uh, only one. one like, only one? Yeah, it was okay. like, amazing. So many people the rest were changing. too full, yeah. so... Okay. Yeah, so, so Did you talk to any other people there? Yes, we met people from Russia, USA, Hong Kong, Hong Kong Singapore. Singapore. Uh, um, Kazakhstan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's God, so it was like nice. Proper mix. So, what are your plans for the next couple of days? Seafood market yes. today. Yes. Um, then uh, a bit of shopping. You know, yeah, like nice. Yes. Uniqlo. Yes. Uniqlo, yes. of yes. course. Yes. <laughs> Amusement park. Yeah, then... Fuji Q Highlands. Oh, you're going yes. to nice. Yes. Do you like anime and manga I'm and things like fan. that? Oh, I you're super. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just <laughs> taking him uh, with me. But oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I just saw your like, One yes. Piece. For you, the reason you wanted to come to Japan is your love for anime and manga? Also, but I mean the food, the culture, let's say everything. Like, okay. it's amazing. Let's talk about the food. What did you like, what don't you like? I love everything in here, guys. Yeah, like, I don't think I find yeah, anything almost like... Everything. Uh, today I tried this corn dog. Mm -hmm. Which is not actually Japanese. It's but Korean, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, not really mine. No, no, too no. sweet. Too sweet. Exactly. Yeah, right. Too, too sweet. sweet. Did you did you try some Japanese sake or just beer or yeah. what, do you like? what do you like? Sake. Yeah. sake. We tried uh, also, well, snake sake. Snake also, yeah. There was oh, a snake oh, inside. Yeah. <laughs> did you like it? Uh, she it's tried not it. Bad. Uh, it's not bad. I was about to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Bad, we were just in Okinawa uh, last month yeah. and it's very famous there and we tried it and I thought it was so bad. <laughs> if there was one thing or uh, can be a physical thing or a concept that you could take home with you to your own country from Japan, what would that be? How people are like so organized, like oh, yeah. you know, like that everything is in line, they are polite, <laughs> nobody screams, you know, Italy is not really famous <laughs> for that. So. And the toilets. Oh my god. Oh yes! yes. <laughs> the toilets, guys. Amazing. Politeness Super and toilets. Yes. <laughs> Be there. Yes. So good. Yes, guys, amazing. Every time he goes to Germany, I'm from Germany, he complains about the toilets there. Yes. He's like, they're expensive, yes. they're nowhere to be found, exactly. they're dirty. Dirty, yes. 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 And cold as well. Yes. And you need to pay. And you need to yes. pay, right? Yes. So, yeah. Which is weird, actually, for a toilet. Yeah, yeah, no. What do you think about Japanese people? Super nice. Polite. Yes. Kind. Yes. yes. Did you have any interactions with anyone? That you remember. Yesterday in the bar, yeah. well, it, their English was not that good, so yeah. we were not. But you know, yeah. they try. They are nice yeah, they so they did their best. Fine. We did our best. Yeah, exactly. uh -huh. You use a lot of hands, yeah. emotions. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Italians, Bulgarian, like. Yeah. They said the other lady. She was Japanese as well. She was so nice. Yeah. She didn't even work there, and she was giving us all the drinks all the time. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know? thank you. And yeah. the bartender itself, himself, yeah. yes, he, he, he was like super nice yeah. and kind. Because I was asking him something like about some like pills. Oh, and, uh, oh <laughs> better not to be, yeah. be careful. No, I mean, like, you know, Japan, no it's he like it's very weight, strict. Like, it's you know. dietary, ah, yeah. diet pills. Yeah, yeah. diet yeah. pills. Because okay. we're in a country where everyone is obsessed by being thin and slim. So yes. I think it's the best place to get it. I mean, I've been here two days already. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I need a pill for the diet. <laughs> Did you have any bad experiences? Not no. yet. Yeah, I mean, still we miss four days. We don't know yet, but uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, you know, there is time. Yeah, there is time, but no. I, I lost my uh, um, my metro pass that, 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 just yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't find it again. No, no, no. I went out of the hotel. I was looking in the elevators yeah. and on the streets, but nothing. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. But if you lose something like more valuable that has your name on it mm -hmm. or something, usually everything you get yeah, back course, here. But yeah, yeah, metro cards might be difficult. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Before coming to Japan, and yeah. now that you're here in Japan, did your opinion of Japan change in any way? 
I don't think so. No, oh, yeah, I mean, for me, it was already amazing when I came. It's still Last amazing time. now. <laughs> okay, okay, great. I was expecting it to be more crowded. Really? Yes. Even more crowded? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Super quiet and streets are so clean. almost yes. empty. I grew up in Egypt, in Cairo, so... Okay. Oh. This was is it so crowded in Cairo? Cairo? I mean, so the streets crowded. are crazy, like where the cars and are and, all Every, the, and everything. Crazy. Right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, I was expecting it to well be more organized, crowded. It's well organized, I think. It's or, very crowded, yes, but yes, it all yeah. works. Uh, yeah, exactly, maybe. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. your time. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Hi, my name is Lena. I'm from Germany. Who are my you? My name is Ria, and I'm from Canada. You live here in Japan? Yes, uh, for one year I took a sabbatical from my work, awesome. um, unpaid leave unfortunately, but uh, to come and live here for a year and study Japanese. Oh, so you're attending a school here? I was until the end of September, so I did six months of Japanese language school. How did that go? <laughs> it was good. Um, <laughs> Japanese is difficult. <laughs> yes, it is. Did you start from zero when you came here? Pretty much. I did um, two months or so of I don't know if you know Pimsleur, the Pimsleur method, no. um, which actually I think is a German guy who really? invented this language learning method, but it's all about listening and repeating, and so you okay. learn grammar naturally through learning sentences. Okay. Um, so I did that for two months, 30 minutes, well, one hour a day before coming. Oh, okay. Um, but I hadn't really learned, I had learned zero kanji, Okay. Uh, so I learned all that at school, and mm -hmm. then I had learned the hiragana and katakana before coming. And how far did you get? Did you take a test or something? Uh, at the end of, so half a year is two semesters, the semesters are three months long, so I did to mm, Kimatsu Testo okay. <laughs> and passed them. Very uh, good. <laughs> the school's requirement is 80% to pass. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> it's a little kibishi. <laughs> how, how is your like communication? Did you mm. use it while you lived here? Yes, I'm still using it. Um, okay kind of day-to-day -day communication is good, yes, but yeah. when it conversation gets a little more complex, it's hard to do. So oh, okay. I can't quite do the, you know, having a conversation about politics or yeah, that's you know, the state of the world or definitely. discuss a news article. That's a little, yes, little yes, bit difficult, yes, yes, yes. Um, but I can definitely talk about, you know, what's your favorite food or <laughs> um, places you like to visit. Okay. Or do you like want that. to test that? Oh, I can. <laughs> I, sure. I know, what are you favorite food? Sushi ga suki kedo, Nihon e kuru ato de, eh, Ichiban suki na mono wa, ah, chato futsuna, futsuna tabe mono kedo, eh, to, saba, saba te shoku. Saba te shoku! I was, naka nihon jin, so nihon jin yori nihon jin. Yeah, yeah. Yes, no, saba wa, um, dai suki. Saba te shoku. Yasui shi, moishi shi. Wow, I'm impressed. Half a year of learning Japanese. I was not that fluent after half a year. Why did you decide to come to Japan in particular? Uh, my boyfriend is half Japanese. Okay. Uh, so he grew up in Vancouver, Canada, and mm -hmm. his dad is Nihonjin. Mm -hmm. um, and so he speaks Japanese fluently. Um, he wanted, always wanted to live in Japan for some time if he was, if the mm -hmm. opportunity came up. And then both of us had the opportunity to take work leave. So you're together um, here. Yeah. And you're learning Japanese for him. That's well, so romantic. For me too, because <laughs> of uh, course, of course, of course. Gengo ga suki. Yeah, it's a plus. <laughs> so not, you've no been traveling coming. a little bit in Japan. Mm, yeah, we Where went to during Obon. We well, when I first got here, we went to Kyoto um, okay. during Sakura season. We were very lucky because oh, we were going to go a week nice. early, but then all the blooms were at Mankai like a week early this year, so we got lucky. Oh, wow. Um, and then we went during Obon. We went to uh, Hokkaido. He has some family there. And uh, then after we quit school, <laughs> so at the end of September we stopped school and we've been traveling since. So we went to South Korea for 10 days, nice. then we did Okinawa, so Ishigaki and Okinawa main island, and a few days in Fukuoka, and then came back here. Wow. So. so this is going to be a difficult question. Okay. What has been your favorite experience in this year? <laughs> I think probably my first experience at an onsen. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many that stand out, but that uh -huh. was definitely very daunting at first because I had to go alone since you men and go. women are yeah, separate. Yeah. Yes. And so we went to an onsen, uh, actually it was um, 
Noboribetsu was my first onsen experience. It's in one of the Jigokudani, so there's like uh, it's it has it smells like sulfur in the whole town, and okay, it's okay, all okay. natural sulfuric spring water. Uh -huh. um, and we got there really late at night, and then my partner was like, "Okay, so." Here's the general rules of onsen, and I was like, yeah, I've read a little bit about it, so it's fine. But then I went in, and I was really nervous. And you still and I still have no idea, yeah, right? It's I like... did the tourist thing, and I read all the signs on the walls very good, very to make good. sure I was doing all things right. Uh, and then went in, and I was very nervous, and I went into one of the onsen pools right away, and I just kind of sat there, and I was like, oh, okay, I made it. Uh, but then once, after 10 minutes or so, I decided, okay, I have to explore the whole onsen. I can't just sit here in this one pool. And once I did that, it was just wonderful. Like it was, they had okay. outdoor, you indoor. could relax. They had a cold pool. Yeah. Oh, okay. and it just became so natural really quickly. That's so and nice. It was so relaxing. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. If there was one thing, can be a, an object or a concept that you could take home with you from Japan, what would it be? Well, we already have a bidet, so oh, okay. <laughs> I will take that home. That's great. Um, I would probably say this kind of the sense of respect that exists in Japan. Everyone has a, a highly I'm like high self-awareness and awareness of space, which doesn't exist in many, many countries. Uh -huh. um, and it's something, I mean, Canada's pretty good about it. We could always be better. <laughs> um, but it's just so, it's next level here, which is so lovely. Everyone's so respectful of each other's personal space. And it's something I very much appreciated when we did a few, a little break in South Korea. It's just not the same. And I was oh, just like, okay. people were like rushing to get on the bus and elbowing. And I was like, whoa, what's oh. happening? And I, it kind of shocked me. Depend. Yeah, it was a weird reverse culture <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that because I feel it kind of gives you a real sense of, of I, I guess you're always observing others, right? To make sure that there's respect happening. And people are so thankful when you do something respectful. It's just small actions yeah. and they make a big difference in everyday life. And it's so nice that those things are appreciated here. That's I so find. cool. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't really have any kind of culture shock or did you? No, I don't think I experienced much culture shock. I think Japanese and Canadian culture are not that far in terms of the, the scale of, of, I guess, difference in culture. It's going to be the opposite when I go back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're like, why is everybody shock. like shoving me on the sidewalk? <laughs> That's what I have every time I go back to Germany. Yeah. It's like, oh, the service is so bad. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> the service, yeah. Did you experience an earthquake while yes. here? How, how <laughs> was <you>? that? <laughs> Um, the first one was okay. The second one was probably scarier only because they sent an alert. And so <laughs> I, it woke the, the alert woke us up before the earthquake came. And so then we both thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be a big one because there's an alert. Um, and it wasn't that terrible. <laughs> um, but I think that is one thing that I would find maybe long term a little more difficult about being in Japan is this kind of fear of the the one big earthquake that's supposed to come at some point, right? Because it's yeah. been a hundred years since the great Kanto earthquake and yes. everyone's predicting that there's going to be a big one and my yes. background is environmental science, so I'm oh, like, there's going to be a big one. <laughs> you know how it works. <laughs> Did your opinion change at all? Not much. I mean, I think I already had some expectations that bureaucracy is a little difficult in Japan. And, and as it's a really foreigner, difficult in Japan. <laughs> yeah, but I, I got, I'm very, very lucky to have my partner because he speaks Japanese. So anytime we had to go to City Hall, he was there too. And so I'm sure I would have managed to scrape by. <laughs> Um, but, you know, if you go to City Hall as a foreigner and you're trying to register or things like that or change your address or fix some problem with your, your health insurance, um, they don't really have English speaking people or <laughs> so you have to kind of, you know, figure it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I was very lucky. So I, I was shielded from a lot of that. But it is very, I think maybe that process was a little bit more intense this time around because I was here for a longer yes, period. Yes. A little more difficult to yeah. navigate in some ways because I was like, why does it have to be so complicated? Why do I have to go print the thing? Why do I have to go to Lawson to pay my health insurance? Can I not do this online in no. a country that's so advanced no. in so many ways? <laughs> Last yeah. century. And it's not the end of the world, right? Yes. Those are the small things. Um, yeah. And I also didn't have to work here, and I know that work culture here is quite difficult as well. Um, Can be, yes. Yeah, so I, I was, I lived all the best parts of <laughs> Japan, I think, in a lot of ways. Mm. Uh, so, would you want to come back here at some point? We will definitely come back. Uh, my partner does to have family, extended family. <sighs> That's to be determined. We both have jobs in Canada, so it's kind of hard to leave that job security. Um, but maybe in the future, like a more distant future, there might be. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Today, I've interviewed a lot of interesting people. Especially Bulgarian and Italian people are very happy and enjoying it. I enjoyed it. 
あとはここに住んでるカナダ人の話を聞いてああ昔そんな感じだったんだねーと私もすごいいろいろ思い出しながら話を聞きました皆さんも楽しかったですか一番楽しかった話はぜひコメント欄で書いてくださいねちなみに東京にはすごい外国人がやっぱ多いね名古屋と比べると、うん、もう名古屋と比べてやばいよ特に築地では本当に外国人ばっかりだよ日本人いないぐらいねえ<笑>やばいこの動画はここで終わりにします楽しかったならぜひいいねボタン押してくださいねチャンネル登録もよろしくお願いしますそれではまた次の動画でも会いましょうバイバーイ